What's up guys, this is Rise and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at Ferrari's battles and Ferrari 0900 is rocking Darmanitan in the Ultra Premier League. Um, a very interesting pick. That was a terrible lead against the Alola Ninetales. So he insta-swaps into his Rose Ray, which I guess acts as the safe swap with this team. Um, in a matchup here against the Machamp, these weather balls are going to be very spammy and slightly outpace the Machamp because it's only uh, three bullet seeds. That he's going for the Leaf Storm. If you guys are unaware, Leaf Storm, a relatively new move, hits extremely hard. I believe it's like an overheat clone, but grass type. Um, gets farmed down, unfortunately, which kind of puts him in a tricky spot. Do you just sack the Kingdra? No. He's going to go for the two shield incinerate down, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, now he's trying to switch. Okay, successfully shields two rock slides. They shield. Oh my god. Focus blast. I don't know how bulky this is. This is going to do so much damage. It one shots. It freaking one shots. The G Fisk, a tanky Pokemon from nearly full health. It took a few incinerates first, but that is absolutely insane. This game's still not over though. Um, really needs a debuff, I guess. Yeah, I guess the debuff. <laughs> Aloha Ninetales has a very dominant matchup against Kingdra because it's going to um, it's going to double resist the Dragon Breaths. So the Dragon Breaths really don't do much at all. But fortunately, he CMPs here, and a Weather Ball won't be enough to KO. The Snintails would need two Weather Balls, and he gets to this Rock Slide, which should be enough considering how much that Focus Blast did, non-stab Focus Blast to a Stunfisk. That was absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe that did so much damage. Like, a Focus Blast from a Registeel, there's no way that would one-shot a Stunfisk. All right, the Dragon Mirror Match. This is his best answer for a Dragonite, so it's actually pretty good that he sees it in the lead. Really no point in going Outrage here. Um, you just want to make sure you win this matchup. You get a shield anyway. The opponent probably shouldn't have shielded because they would have been able to leave with a shield advantage. And now it's even and they give up switch, which is pretty bad. Interesting that he decided to come in Roserade and not Darmanitan against the Venusaur. Um, that's really interesting. Maybe Roserade is... I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was there. Maybe he feels more comfortable with Roserade in this matchup. Really nice over farm there. Throws the move just before Venu throws its move. Has some residual energy. Oh, because he knew maybe the... Oh, man. Oh, that's bad. How do you win this? You gotta use the uh, lag. <laughs> okay, a little bit of lag. I was gonna say use the Kingdra as a swap. It, he kind of did, um, but it's fire spin, right? So the Charizard wasn't gonna be able to farm down. Oh, this is a misplay by the opponent. Because now you allow him to incinerate down, and he's just going to double rock slide for the win. One fire spin gets through, but even a blast burn probably wouldn't one shot from this range, the Darmanitan. So he's in good shape. Rock slide, boom. Another one shot. <laughs> I think he said in his video submission, Darmanitan one shots a bunch of different things. And that has certainly been the case. We've seen two one shots already. Obviously, a rock slide is gonna from anything is gonna do so much to a Charizard. Kingdra versus Venu. Um, Kingdra wins this in the two shield, but he likes this. Makes sense. You've got two better matchups for the Venu than your Kingdra, so might as well switch. Fortunately, the opponent doesn't have a solid response to Roserade, so he was able to swap without being punished here. He's gonna let this go, and they bait. Oh man, guys. This is not a situation where I think you're. it's even worth baiting with your Venusaur. Like, it's a double-resisted Frenzy Plant or a neutral Sludge Bomb for five more energy. Shield going up. Double bait with Frenzy. 
The opponent's a madman. Oh my god, going for the Leaf Storm. I really want to see this land. Boom! <laughs> Nearly one shot. Oh, but then Machamp gets to a cross chop with a few HP. Roserade's gonna survive. If Venu comes in, it's gonna get to a Weather Ball. Oh man, the opponent, I don't think the opponent is making <laughs> the right calls this game. Gets the last shield. Aggressive swap into Darmanitan. Do you just call the Frenzy? Because they've Frenzy baited twice now? <laughs> you just call the Frenzy. That still did so much. Oh man, gets to the Focus Blast and Empoleon. There's no way it survives this. Oh my god, if the g fist did survive. And the dang Darmanitan sweeping in back. I know this isn't a Saturday, but this is kind of like the fill-in spicy Saturday for the week. Oh my god. A Magneton. What on earth? Nice catch. Probably a discharge here. Yep, it's a discharge. Resisted. In comes Gallade. Oof, that's not good. Uh, yeah, definitely should have just clicked that weather ball right away. Recognized there was no way you were getting to a, a Leaf Storm there. Mm, it's going to be a tough game. He's in a tough spot, but... Does he get the debuff? Debuffs are game changers with Octazuka. Gets a shield and gets a debuff. Game changer. <laughs> Such a coin flip. I know a lot of people really don't like Kingdra because the debuff... At 50% uh, rate is kind of OP, which I understand. Gets to one more Leaf Blade. I like this. I like letting the Kingdra go. You get one Incinerate of Farm. Get an Energy Head Start with a Pokemon that can be very dangerous with Energy. In comes the Venu. Oh man, what on earth is in back? You kind of have to shield. Yeah, Sludge Bomb would have almost KO'd from there. He's got double. Oh, could it be a, uh, could it be like a Charizard? No, that wouldn't make sense to team comp. Oh, my bad, it was the Magneton. Beautiful catch by the Magneton. We already saw the Magneton, so my apologies for forgetting that. The Rock Slide still did enough, which allowed him to get one Incinerate, not have to take a Discharge. And this should be enough to take out Venu after that Incinerate damage. Unbelievable. Darmanitan, who would have thought? Putting in work. Granted, against some weird teams. <laughs> some weird competition, but... Putting in work. Charizard, great lead for Kingdra if it's... Fire Spin, yeah. Fire Spin, the great lead for Kingdra. Dragon Breath, not a very good lead for Kingdra. Gonna shield a Dragon Claw. Makes sense. Because, like, if they let the Charizard go... Like, you could potentially just shield a couple times oh my god another debuff now you definitely don't shield this is going to do a wimpy amount of damage like like 20 percent now you just farm down yeah i think that's the right play by the opponent just aggressive swap to get the get that debuff off even though you end up switching into a pretty bad matchup you just you can't allow the kingdom to just like farm you down oh my god the rock slide did so much, man. He's gonna shield. Is he gonna try and farm down? I'm not sure he can farm. Oh, maybe he can, because it was a blast burn. Oh my gosh, loaded Darmanitan. <laughs> this thing is going to town. It's absolutely going to town. Is he gonna get there? At like the same time right here. I think yeah. I think the Venus only got one vine with that first time. So they end up see him peeing here. Plus the Venusaur had to try and farm down to have like any chance. Unbelievable. I think that's the set. Oh my goodness. Ferrari. Thank you for the submission. Some fun battles. Kind of filling in for Spicy Saturday this week. Since we didn't post on Spicy Saturday. So I will put this on that playlist since their man intent is relatively spicy i've never seen one at least not in a while in uh in ultra 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. I've got a really cool Sylph-based video coming out where I show you my six and one run against some of the world's best players, 17 and four. So I was pretty proud of that. Um, I've actually managed to get top five on the Sylph Global Leaderboard. So I'm ranked number five in the world right now, which is pretty insane for a guy that just kind of started getting into PvP a year ago, like got serious about it a year ago. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm having a lot of fun with my teammates doing different tournaments. Still factions is starting, so I'll probably be doing some content for that. Um, and you know what's funny is I talk about like I've been playing well, I've been get this high rank kick. I played in this $350 Asgaban Asgaban tournament putting on put on this the other day. Um, well, actually the same day that I'm filming this, just like 12 hours ago, and uh, it was on Pogo King's Twitch channel, who I'm sure most of you guys follow. And I made two absolutely horrendous plays um, that basically cost me the semifinals. So the first one was I allowed my Galvantula um, to be farmed down by a Venusaur because I thought I was going to get to a lunge. I didn't get to the lunge. And because I allowed my Galvantula to get farmed down, his Venusaur got to two frenzies on my um, on my uh, Driftlum and won the game. So if I had just let my Galvantula go, I would have won that. And then I won game two very convincingly. And game three, I played pretty much perfectly to a T. Had a mud bomb loaded on my Unovan Stunfist to take out his Alolan Muck. Um, and it was a combination of kind of the state of the game and my own fault. Uh, this is what I posted about on my uh, on YouTube, like the little poll. Um, like it was a straightforward situation. Uh, switch timer was up. I took out his Venusaur, so Muck had to come in. I switch, I press Mud Bomb, I win. But when I press switch, um, maybe I did it a millisecond too early, and it registered it as a Volt switch for my Galvantula, which allowed the Muck to farm and then CMP tie with a Dark Pulse. So really frustrating way to uh, lose potentially $350 because I made two mistakes. Um, well, I made one mistake that I would really never make I make once in a hundred games probably. And then in the same very match, um, I'm not convinced it was my own fault for the second mistake. I think it was more the state of the game because like if, if you watch the clip, um, like I was tapping the stun fist to switch in and for some reason it still registered as a volt switch for my Galvantula allowed him to farm down. But anyway, I am rambling. Um, the point of that story that I just rambled on about for a few minutes was to let you know that even as someone that's ranked number five on Sylph right now, I make pretty bad misplays often. Um, but it's about making them as with the le least amount of frequency as possible to try and put yourself in a position to win as many games as possible. And that's, um, that's a big part of it. But yeah, even someone that's ranked pretty highly right now, that's winning some big tournaments, that's that's playing well. Um, I made two just horrendous misplays that might have cost myself $350, um, which really, really put me in a bad mood today. But I went for a walk. I played some basketball. I uh, I did a little bit of like boxing at the gym with um, this like punching bag. Uh, and, and I felt a lot better about it. And at the end of the day, it's just a game. It's about having fun. And man, I'm fully vaccinated now. I'm just going off the rails with this monologue, but um, I'm looking forward to like meeting all you guys in the community um, in the near future when we have big mega tournaments once again. And and I, I can't wait for that and to get more involved with the community, maybe branch out my content into some like vlogging styles if I'm able to travel a little bit and play this game and meet some cool people. So yeah, all that said, Nine minutes of battles and like five minutes of Rise talking. Well, what has the world come to where I'm talking about stuff beyond just what's going on in the battles and commentating? <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.